Hi guys, it's Horsey Steph back with another Horse Fails reaction video. I apologize so much, I am still sick and we now have this terrible camera angle because I just, I cannot bring myself to sit where I normally sit and have to squint because um, I head is so dizzy, I can't see very well. I'm really struggling, but I want to get this content out for you. So go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to me for more videos, and I promise we will have a new video every single day, whether I feel good or bad. So let's go ahead and jump right into another Horse Fails, Horse Trainer Reacts video. Alright, this is kind of funny, so they're asking how she is. She's like, I'm doing fine, even though I just got chucked off this fence. It's just day in the life, right? It happens. <laughs> Alright, so this horse looks like it's just going to have a little bit of a fit, and so that stop, let's go ahead and pause that, that stop was totally forgivable, let's go ahead and watch that again, if you watch how the horse comes off the first fence, he's real short and collected and kind of anxious about it, and then he lands really dead because he hit that chippy spot because of the canter he had coming in. So as a result, he lands really dead, really struggling to keep his canter, I'm not surprised he didn't want to jump this fence. They're not little, and I think he would have just been setting himself up for failure to jump such a big oxer with the canter he had coming in. Let's go ahead and watch that again. All right, so see how short this canter is? He's kind of wanting to bolt, gets the chip, and then lands just kind of real heavy with nothing, and also landed crooked. So to me, it's a forgivable stop. There are a few horses, I think, that would really push to make that happen based on how it was set up. All right, so this horse is getting really poppy. Um, number one advice for you, if your horse is getting poppy, rearing, bucking, etc., push them forward. In this video, you see the rider holding onto the face, slowing the horse down even more, which is gonna lead to the horse going more up. Horse has excessive energy, it needs to let go for whatever reason, send it forward. Forward is your safest option. All these people that are afraid of their horse going forward, I will take a a bolting horse over a bucking or rearing horse any day. Forward is the safest option a horse can take. So instead of hanging on this horse's face, she should be pushing it forward, trying to get it to go, because at least if it's moving, it can't buck or rear to the extent it is doing now when she is trying to stop the horse. Well, saving Grace is she is quite a good rider and it looks like she can stay on this, but she needs to get this horse forward. He's just getting more agitated the longer she holds him and he has nowhere to go. Oh, a poor horse. Okay, so this is why, let me pause it. This is why I don't watch horse fail videos. That's horrifying to me. Nothing really happened that was so bad. I mean, the spot to that first fence wasn't great, but I mean, totally doable. Watching that, I wouldn't have anticipated the horse would land so heavy on its front end that it almost falls. Bless his heart, this horse has a heart of gold. He still went to try to get over the second fence. Regardless of the fact that his nose was literally in the dirt, and this is a one stride, big fences, I mean, he just put everything he had to try to save this. So you see his spot was a little long and unorganized, but the horse should have been able to fix that. I'm, I'm not sure why he got so on his forehand, but he picked himself up as best as he can um, and did his very best to get out of that, kept the rider on really great job such a good horse because a lot of mine would have stopped at that they would have been like hell no this is a bad idea and you can't blame them i mean it is kind of a bad idea all right so you watch this this horse is being lunged he turns outside i always start my horses by myself i do not start horses on the lunge line i did it once or twice uh learned better because it's an extremely dangerous position to be in as this horse turns out, he's wrapping the lunge line around himself and the rider. Somebody can get seriously injured getting tangled in that lunge line. The best thing as a lunger you can do in this situation is drop the line and hope that nobody gets too tangled or hurt, but it is extremely dangerous. I could see this ending incredibly badly. As a lunger, your only job, if you were going to do this, is to keep the horse from spinning out. Literally the worst thing that could happen is that horse spinning to the outside like this horse just did. So as a lunger, this lunger completely failed. Um, if you can't reliably keep the horse at least going the correct direction, then you should not be lunging this horse with a rider. Now I do lunge horses with riders. I don't start horses that way because they're liable to be reactive. But certainly teaching people to trot or treat, teaching people to canter, I have done that on a lunge line and I've never had a problem because my horses are super well-trained 
super quiet and they understand to just trot and canter on the circle and listen to me while the rider gets their bearings. This situation looks more like a green horse because of how dramatic it reacted and that is an incredibly dangerous situation to be in. You're better off being in a round pin loose because at least you don't have that line to get tangled in. But let's go ahead and keep watching. So you can see as she lands, she gets wrapped around the lunge line and it gets wrapped around her rib cage. So watch this again. He turns out, she can land on top of the lunge line and starts to be drug under the horse. It's exactly why I would never do it that way. It seems incredibly dangerous. I hope everyone is okay, but honestly wouldn't be shocked if that rider got seriously injured being drug under the horse's feet while it's getting more scared because it's now wrapped up in a lunge line. All right, so this horse just got too chippy and she landed in front of the tack. Really great rider go, got in the saddle, jumps this next one beautifully with no stirrups. I mean, slightly left behind, but did a very good job. That is why, that is why we practice jumping without stirrups. So in a pinch, you can get the job done. Good job for her. At this, I don't understand why horses fall this much. Um, terrifying. Literally, my worst fear is my horse falling out of under me. I don't understand why it happens this much. I have had a horse that fell um, he was kind of chronic about it because when he slipped, he just wouldn't bother to catch his balance. These horses are trying. They're struggling to get their feet back under them and they just can't. It makes me think they lack the coordination and experience to be jumping the heights they're jumping. To me, if you went back to smaller things and gave them better technique, they would be much, much less likely to get in these situations. It certainly can happen still, but especially over a foot. I mean, a horse should be able to save themselves jumping a 12 inch vertical. There is zero reason they should end up on the ground over that, uh, regardless of what kind of spot they got into. It just shouldn't happen. All right, so basic dirty refusal. Um, sit back, keep your leg on, stay straight. Very easy to fix. Um, horse didn't even do it that fast, so that, that one was savable. Oh, I've got a long spot. So this kind of sucks when they get a little long and real poppy, but you know, she's got it together. I have one that does this all the time. Um, wouldn't blame the horse for that. So she came in super short and poppy and then she had no canter, was barely straight to get out of that line. And those, those close distances, the horse really needs to be organized to safely jump out. There are horses that will jump out regardless of the safety or the level of excellence they can have over the fence. And there are tons and tons of those more careful horses that when you set them up for failure and they know they're going to get rails or not be able to jump it cleanly, they're not going to do it. I can't really blame horses like that. I don't really want my horse to jump no matter what. To me, that's a very dangerous thing to have a horse that always jumps no matter what's happening. Um, I had that growing up. My first horse, my paint would jump no matter what. And sometimes it was horrifying. He would jump from 16 feet out over these massive oxers and just land on top of the fence almost. I mean, it, he was very athletic. He generally got out okay, but can you imagine some horses doing that? It seems very dangerous and setting up for failure. So I don't want my horses to jump regardless. I want them to jump safely and confidently. I also don't want horses to just stop because, you know, the stars aren't aligned. That's no good, but some of these stops are legitimately good ideas where the horse is going to be safer and keep the rider safer by stopping at the fence instead of jumping. And it is up to us as a rider to pilot the horse safely to the fence so that they don't get in a situation where they have to decide, do I jump or not, because jumping is a safety issue. Oof, okay, so another horse, just poor technique. I... I don't think that horse should have been jumping that height if that's how he's going to jump. Now, certainly I have had um, my mom's horse, Snuffy, can sometimes jump a little like that. He is going blind and really struggles to see his fences, but it's a very rare day he jumps like that. As a rider, you can give him so much information to prevent it. I do jump Snuffy a meter ten regularly, and I don't end up with jumps like that. To me, this horse, the fence was not that low. It just seemed like the horse wasn't organized, didn't know what it was doing, and probably wasn't prepared. But there are certain situations, like with Snuffy, where he won't see something, and if you don't tell him there's a fence there, he might be like, oh crap, let me get over it somehow, and bunny hop. But majority of the case, I would guess, is not a horse that's struggling with blindness, but a horse that just does not have good jumping technique and does not know what to do with its feet to get over these fences. 
All right, super unorganized. Would have wanted a better pace coming into that. Uh, it's not super shocking to me that she had trouble sitting it because she clearly wasn't that competent by the fact that her pace coming in was all over the place. Oh, I've definitely had this happen. You're in a flat class, you're all walking, and the horse bolts. It's really humiliating. Sucks that she came off. Um, all right, so this one, let me go ahead and rewatch that. I don't know why she came off that. All right, I guess she was already falling off and just couldn't prepare for the turn there. I mean, the horse did exactly what it had to do. What was it going to do? Run into the rail? And if he had stopped instead of turning, I'm sure she would have fallen off too, so. Oh, cute. Okay, so just sat back way too much. Wasn't prepared in order to get over that. Um, horse did exactly what it was supposed to do. Oh, and again with these stumbles. I mean, I don't know why they're so common. Oh, that is, that is very long. Um, good news is horse looks like it knows what it's doing and it's going to clear that, I believe. So impressive. Probably could have ridden to a deeper spot. And he is just going to exit this line, which seems like a totally good idea because he was not prepared to do that fence. I'm not sure why she assumed he was going to take that fence. The way she took him into the line, like he is just trying to survive. Um, now, second time through... He, he did go ahead and do it, but, like, still no better prepared. I would like to see that rider ride much better for that horse to just have a better experience jumping. It seems, it seems like she's setting up the horse for failure, and he's going to learn to get dirty. All right, I mean, I saw that coming, like, three strides ago, so she should have been able to save that. But, you know, some people just got to learn the lesson the hard way. Okay, that legitimately, um, my gelding will do that on occasion when things look scary. He'll... Like, oh my god, I can't do it, I can't do it, and then he'll jump the moon. It is so hard to stick with them. You end up getting bounced out of the tack. Um, it's really a struggle, so I feel her pain. I have come off that way a couple times, um, and it's very, very hard. You just have to have really quick reflexes to save that. Um, and my horse does exactly what hers did. When you land unorganized, it spooks them, and they take off bucking. So you got to be real secure to fix that situation. Again, the horse was stopping like a mile ago. Not sure why she didn't sit back and see that coming, but I, it was me as a kid all the time. My trainer was like, why can't you sit back? Uh, fell over so many fences before I learned the hard way. Here, let's go ahead and watch that again. She didn't release over that fence. All right, so see, she just got left behind. Could have given a release and she probably would have been just fine, but fell nice and slow. Probably didn't get that hurt. Oh, dirty stop. That horse really pitched her. Uh, okay, I saw that coming. I mean, she needed leg. If I had been that trainer, I would have been like, leg, 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 because the horse was stopping coming in. Not surprised. I mean, he didn't even dirty stop. He just rolled to a stop. Oh, good save. I mean, she's in front of the horse, but it looks like she's going to catch that. I am very bad. If I get in front of the saddle, I, I'm off. <laughs> All right, that's just, um, that's just stupidity. Uh, I've certainly ridden backwards on my horses. Um done it on several of them, but I'm always very careful to make sure they're going to be totally fine with it before I'm actually sitting backwards. Um, and especially leaning down on the horse's butt like that, um, you're asking for trouble. Uh, I would be very cautious doing that. Don't recommend doing it. On the right horse, I've done it on uh, at least two, if not three. I've done it on both of my two horses. They were just fine. Um, and I believe I've done it on my mom's horse, Snuffy, as well. Um, if I did, that went fine. I can't actually remember. Um, but all horses that are super comfortable with me, and I took my time getting them used to that before I actually swung around, sat bareback, and asked them to walk off. They were really comfortable with the idea. Because London, uh, my gelding, isn't super confident. I could see us easily freaking him out if I hadn't taken the proper steps to make sure that he was okay with it first. Oh, that looked like a hurry. That looks like gravel. Um... Uh, I would be definitely doing that in a soft area if I weren't confident how it would go. Oof! I uh, just led that horse to a terrible spot, landed in front of it, and the horse got pissed about it. Totally, it's right. Um, properly fitting tack. I don't know why. I don't know why ponies aren't given properly fitting tack, and there seems to be an idea that because they're little, their tack doesn't need to fit properly. Um, I find it very hard to believe that saddle actually fit if it was able to roll right over its shoulder and onto its neck while she was riding. 
and not even anything dramatic. The horse literally stopped and she just fell forward. If it is a problem, even with a properly fitted saddle, because the horse is so round and has no withers, I would be using a crupper to go around the horse's tail and keep it its saddle forward. But I have a lot of trouble believing that's truly an issue and that the saddle was just misfit in the first place. Oh, unfortunate. I think the horse might have just stumbled on the edge of that water. Um, your pause it. I think the horse might have just not quite gotten all the way over that water and stumbled on that lip and tossed the rider. I could certainly see it happening if you're not prepared. I mean, certainly there are riders that could ride that, I think, moment to moment. Um, I could see if you're really shocked by it. You're just not expecting it and you aren't quite able to go with it. Um, sucks, though, because would have been just a, a penalty versus a disqualification because he actually came off. Um, if your horse is bolting with you on their side, I would just bail at that point because the horse isn't going to get better and you're going to fall better if you do it yourself. I, again, just got right on the horse's withers. A lot of horses do not like when you get ahead of them like that. Mm, exactly like that. That horse tried to kick her nasty. Uh, yeah, same thing. When you get up on their withers, a lot of horses do not like that, and they think, let's stop. They think, let's stop or buck, and you really can't blame them because you're in front of their driving uh, area. You're in front of their shoulder, and I train my horses to slow down when you're in front of their shoulders, so mine would probably do exactly the same thing. Just stay back. Don't jump for your horse, and don't land in front of your horse. Problem solved. <laughs> <laughs> 